Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm getting started this morning. I have a really busy day ahead. Um, I've already taken my daughter to her school and so I'm home now for a couple of hours before I have to leave again. Um, I work PRN, but I'm still required to go into work a couple times a week and be COVID tested. Thankfully, that test has always come up negative. Also, also have a vet appointment for one of our fur babies. So I have right now to try and straighten things up and put our life back to, I don't know, somewhat clean. <laughs> Let me show you what we are dealing with this morning. Yes. You are looking at tissues. Everywhere, tissues, like it snowed tissues. So Mercy was home from school sick yesterday and I thought, okay, well we have a runny nose. What's the best thing to have out, you know, for comfort and that's a box of tissues. And this is what happened to them. Oh good, now Freya has the tissues. All right, let's get started. It's amazing how I can turn around for just a second and all of a sudden there's tissues everywhere. It was a joint effort, I think, between two rather adorable tiny humans. If you've watched my videos before then welcome back to my channel and if you're new here um, my name is Erin and I have been married for four years my husband and I bought this house right after we got married and um, we have two daughters uh, Mercy who is two and a half and Freya who is nine months I was inspired to start this channel um, when I realized how helpful it was for me to watch cleaning motivation videos and to see how normal and um, how okay it is for your house to get a bit messy. It just happens. It's part of motherhood. It's part of life and it's okay. Time management is not the easiest thing for me. It's a struggle every day, but this has really helped me um, figure out how to do that for myself. You know, figure out what the best times of the day are for cleaning and the best times of day for food prep or the best times of day for anything else that I might need to get done. I have noticed so many who have already 
taken out all of their Christmas decorations and started setting up their Christmas trees and I was quite shocked when I saw it at first. Don't get me wrong, Christmas is absolutely my favorite, favorite time of year and I know we don't get to enjoy the Christmas decorations very long but I just can't do it yet. I have to get through Thanksgiving before I pull out that Christmas tree. So tell me in the comments, when is your ideal time for setting up for Christmas? Um, is it before Thanksgiving, after Thanksgiving? Um, just let me know in the comments. I think it's really fascinating to find out when people like to do their decorating. I started up the camera and just kind of let it record things as they happen and in this case it was time for me to stop so that somebody could have a little breakfast she um, is the only one in the household that gets to sleep in so she eats breakfast the latest hello there what you doing oh do you like that toy <laughs> so there's one area of the house that you haven't really been in and and that's because it's been a catch-all for a while and unfortunately when um my cat simba was sick it was a room that he um unfortunately was sick in a lot and so it had a lot of messes and we had to keep the kids and stuff out of here so we could keep cleaning it up anyways we finally got around to straightening it up and we were recording it until we realized we weren't, the cameras weren't rolling. But anyways, we're right off the dining room and this is our sunroom. Moving on into my kitchen, it really wasn't bad. I needed to clean up the mess from breakfast and get the dishes loaded and just get it started so that we had clean dishes for when it was time to start working on dinner. Most people, I think, enjoy starting in their kitchen, but for me, since when you first walk into our house, what you see is my living room and entryway, that's where I like to start because that's where the house looks the messiest. This is the leftover candy from Halloween and I'm finally just combining it and putting it into a good place to hide where Mercy can't find it. She only gets to have one piece after dinner as a dessert.
would like to add really quick that I don't usually use paper towel, which you see me using to wipe down the counters. I usually use a microfiber cloth or a sponge. I just didn't have very much time today and I just kept going for the easiest thing for me to get to and that was the paper towels. So like I said before, I have to go out at noon and then we don't have any time uh, to do much between my COVID test at work and our cat's vet appointment. Just a, a crazy afternoon ahead. This mop is by O Cedar and I love it. I think I might love it more than the spin mop from O Cedar, but I love it because you can put anything in the water tank, so hot water or even your favorite cleaner. So dishwasher is done. Several hours later we've gotten through all of the necessary appointments and it's time to um, get things ready for dinner although I then realized I was missing um, an ingredient so I wasn't able to start dinner until my husband came home from work. But it's a super easy dinner, super easy recipe if you even want to call it a recipe and I will be showing that so stay tuned. This is a little project I've wanted to start for a while. I wanted to change out the storage container, the small one, for a larger container to hold more of our drinks. The water um, dispenser there does hot water, so this is where I wanted our hot cocoa and our tea for when it gets chilly. So I pulled this one out, cleaned it up, and I will also find other wonderful things to store in it, like my cleaning cloths. So convenient to have it right there in the middle of the house.
With the exception of dinner, we've reached the end of my to-do list. Um, I was pretty tired at this point, so the dinner I'm going to show you, I highly recommend. If you are busy and your family's always on the go and you don't have very much time, absolutely recommend this dinner. I'm gonna be making um, pizza sliders and all you need for it is your pizza uh, fillings or toppings and um, Hawaiian rolls. So I have everything but one uh, thing which was cheese. So as soon as my husband gets home, I will be able to start dinner. I hope you have been enjoying the way that I'm setting up videos, kind of showing you a day in the life of a mom, um, what I'm able to accomplish in one day that's been kind of my goal. I hope that you enjoy the content. Um, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe if you are so inclined. I so completely appreciate the support. And now for dinner, you need Hawaiian rolls, pizza sauce, cheese, I have mozzarella and Italian, and I'm also going to put in some ham and some pepperoni. Super simple to do this, just take your whole uh, loaf out and you're just gonna cut the entire thing in half, not separate them, the individual rolls, but cut the whole thing in half. And then pile up your toppings. You can use anything in these. Um, sliders. I'm, I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna do this probably once a week because it's so easy. Um, maybe barbecue chicken or um, pulled pork or you can put anything, anything in these. But I'm going with the leftover pizza toppings that we have. So I put cheese on first because I don't want it to get soggy. So I put cheese on first and then some sauce piled up the meats that I wanted on it. Half pepperoni and half ham. And then I also whipped together a little butter uh, melted with herbs and some garlic and I put that over the top. I baked it at 350 degrees uh, for about 15 minutes. About 20 minutes really because I covered it and then I let it go a little bit longer. And that was it. Easiest weeknight dinner ever. There were absolutely no leftovers, which is just a perfect meal in my book. I just can't say thank you uh, enough for um, if you're still here with me thank you for supporting me thank you for supporting my channel please give this video a thumbs up and again if you haven't subscribed please think about subscribing and right here check out how delicious this came out that's it for me I will see y'all next week